What's up, YouTube? This is Sam Team Sam Rockson here. So today, guys, welcome to episode number two of How to Beat. So this segment is gonna be me talking to you guys about how to beat stuff in the meta, such like you know, Dino Rabbits, wind ups. Um, if you guys haven't seen episode one of How to Beat, please click on the annotation um, somewhere around the screen, and it will take you there. So yeah, guys. So. Today's episode on how to beat is how to beat windups. Uh, you guys probably already know how to beat windups and, and stuff, but I just want to make a video on if some people don't know how to beat windups, I just want to you know, help them and help you guys, you know, because windups is one of the really, really big meta uh, deck right now. It's really, really annoying. And how the deck basically works is um, there are two card combos. So they have six cards in hand, and all they need is two cards to make the combo, and which they play triple of. They play triple magician and triple shark. So the combo is. Uh, Shark, what's it called? Um, let me get my deck, one second. Cause I personally play windups. And um, so the combo is basically, um, where's my windup deck? Don't know where the windup deck is, but. So where's my windup deck? My deck box. Here? Oh, right here. Yeah, so today uh, I took windups to my uh, locals. I, I I went to um, top eight, got top eight. I got uh, some um, Astro Packs. Oh, it's pretty nice. So all they need is basically these two card combos and you basically lose. Magician, Magician, Shark equals GG, sad face. So yeah, Magician Shark, really, really annoying. This uh, sets up uh, first turn Shockmaster, which is really, really crucial um, in the meta because, for example, Shockmaster calls spells. You cannot activate Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, stuff like that. Like, all it takes is two cards, and so they have six cards in hand, minus two, that's four cards. They will summon um, Magician Shark, go off, set four. How, how do you beat that? Just like six Samurai, summon Sheehan, set five. Okay. Yeah. Also, same combo with Tour Guide. It's even though it's at two, it's still amazing this format. And and Sangan as well. I actually think Sangan should get banned. Like that card is way too good. Like for example, Down Rabbits, tack your Sangan to get the Rescue Rabbit out. Sangan is too broken, too 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 broken. Um, yeah, Tour um, Tour Guide Shark, summon Tour Guide, or oh, um, bring on bring on another Tour Guide. Overlay Zen Mighty, uh, detach from Zen Mighty, to detach the material, like a boss. Uh, you detach material, bring out Magician, Real Shark, same thing, your opponent just loses. Also, Factory and Rabbit, it's so annoying. Like, honestly, like, I can tell by, like, when I'm playing windups and I open up, like, Double Factory and a Rabbit. Okay, my opponent is pretty pissed because I'll activate two, rab two Factories. Summon Rabbit, okay, Banish, get my Magician Shark in hand. That's already set up for your co two combos. And it can activate during, um, um, Rabbit can activate during other player's turn. Um, and Factory gets it once per turn. So it gets it one on my turn and once on my opponent's turn. So I can activate Rabbit on my opponent's turn and I'll get the search with the Factory. Annoying. Also, the Rats. Wind up Rats is really, really annoying. Summon Rat, defense mode, bring out something in the, uh, from your grave, o overlay for a quick XYZ, like Leviathan, Zen Mighty, um, Tem Temple, it's that Acid Golem, stuff like that. Yeah, so the deck is really, really annoying, yeah. And yeah, guys, so I'm just gonna tell you guys how to beat it. Uh, so I'm gonna switch it over to um, DN and talk to you guys on what card choices you guys might wanna use on how to beat the deck. So uh, I'll see you on DN. Who's that Yu-Gi-Oh card? It's Wanda Brothers! What's up YouTube? So we're here back on DN now and these are the cards I'm going to be showing you that are great against windup. So let's get started with the first card. First card is Effect Villar. So during your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the rear to target one face of effect monster your opponent controls. The heat that targets effect until the end phase. So Effect Villar is really, really useful against windups because uh, on cards like Windup Magician and Windup Shark as well. Uh, windup Shark, this prevents Windup Shark from going uh, level up and or level down. So it's an amazing card. Effect Villar is great against this deck. Um, effect Villar is also great on Zen Mighty. Um, Zen Mighty these uh, Zen Mighty play for wind up players are really really important because it sets up their whole plays like Zen Mighty is an important card in the deck. It, like there goes Zen Mighty Rat, bring something from their grave and overlay for XYZ level 3, rank 3, you know, 
uh, quick X Y quick X Y Z plays. So Villa will stop all of that, and um, Zemani is also a 1500 attack, which is re really really low. So you uh, you can just run over that next turn. So Villa is a crucial card against windups. Next card we got the, the one of the most important card against windups is Maxi. So during either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster, immediately draw one card. You can only use one Maxi per turn. So Maxi is a great great card. This uh, either stops your opponent. Or your opponent goes off and you plus six or five off wind up. So your opponent summon wind up magician, you go shark, you know, um, you know, can hit, uh, chain maxi onto the shark on the re on the reveal of shark. Then you get to draw draw one, and they, if they keep on going and going and going, you get to keep plusing, plusing, and plusing. So maxi is an important important card. So next card, um, you play uh, snow eater and Raikou. This card is mainly used for wind up rabbit because wind up rabbit is an annoying annoying card. Um, Wino Rabbit is great, great, um, it has great plays with Wino Factory. Wino Factory, uh, um, searches the whole deck so fast and it gets to their combos really easier. Uh, yes, more faster, it gets to their combo more faster. So Slime Eater and Raikou will destroy the Rabbit. Um, uh, this, uh, when Rabbit attacks a face down monster, you know, you flip Snow Line Eater, Snow Line Eater activates during the damage step, which Wino Rabbit cannot, uh, dodge during the damage step, so Snow Line Eater will destroy the Wino Find a rabbit. Same thing uh, with Raiko. So yeah, this eliminates the one of rabbit. These two cards. Now we go to Gordian Gores. These two are self-explanatory. Stops the OTK. You know, usually windups they try to go with a big bob, like have big boards on the, on on the field and they try to push for game. But Chagodia will stop that. Uh, Chagodia and Gores will stop the the, the OTK. If you have, uh, for example, Maxi in hand and you uh, uh, chain Maxi to um, the summon of. Uh, uh, shark, version of Shark, and keep going off, keep going off, and then you draw Chagodia, um, and they go um, try to push you for game. You can drop the Chagodia with uh, lots of attack since you have lots of cards in hand. Same thing with Gores, but uh, in this situation, uh, Trag will be a lot of better because toward Gores, um, you would, um, Gores is really situational. Like you need no cards on the field at all to so summon Gores. So that's the thing about Gores. Next time we played the one Thunder King, uh, Thunder King Ryo against his deck. This this card is amazing. It's one of the best cards in the format right now because Thunder King stops searches and it also forces your opponent to go uh, special summon. So Thunder King forces your uh, your opponent to go uh, X Y Z monsters and your opponent cannot search uh, with factory because Thunder King is on the field. And Thunder King is a great great beater against windups. And so yeah, so it and this card also forces your opponent to go X Y Z monsters so it can negate. That's a good thing. So they neg one from the extra deck. Yeah, Thunder King is amazing. He's also the 1900 beater. Next, we got Goes and Match and Rivalry of Warriors. These two are self explanatory because Goes and Match, um, like windups, they play, you know, water, f uh, water, fire, earth, uh, stuff like that. So, Goes and Match uh, hurts them. Um, same thing with Rivalry of Warriors. Well, Rivalry of Warriors is better in Goes than Goes and Match because um, windups, they, they have Beast, Beast Warrior, Fish, ma uh, Magician, and Spellcaster, stuff like that. So, you can only choose one type. Of monster, yeah. Next, we play Macro Crossbows. This card is way better than D Fisher right now because D Fisher, uh, for windups, when um, windups they do side D Fisher because D Fisher does not hurt them at all. Because when they detach their materials, go to grave, they're not gonna be banished. So, and which makes their uh, rats live. But Macro Crossbows, anything that goes to grave is banished instead. So, Macro Crossbows is can be one of the great cards against windups. Next time we play one roll of the Cree, not one roll of the Cree, but like roll of the Cree against them. So we play roll of the Cree because they play heavy, heavy traps, and this just stops them from, uh, you know, the traps. And now we got uh, MST does so you know so explanatory stops their heavy back roll. Next we got Phoenix Chain, same thing as a same concept as a Fight Veiler. Yeah. Next we got Bottomless Trap Hole, really, really important card. Like you can bomb this the Shark, you can bomb this Zen Mighty. When they bomb, when you bomb this your Zen Mighty. Um, personally, when I play windups, when and when they bomb is my Zed Mighty, it's so so annoying. Like it pisses me off. Yeah, man. You know, cause Zed Mighty, you you they only play one Zed Mighty, and Zed Mighty is the the card that makes them go off. And yeah, next we play one Compulsory. It's a sh really good card. It's chainable. Um, it's same thing as Bombless, but this card is chainable, so you can activate it when Zed Mighty summon. You can pulse back. You know, on big big videos like Tiris's Thunder K. Uh, Bombless can't uh, get rid of Tiris. Because tears can't be destroyed by card effect, but compulse can. 
stuff like that, you know, uh, get rid of the big, big beaters. Next, we got Mirror Force. Um, your opponent likes to go off, you know, uh, like to uh, overextend, you know, try to push for game. You have Mirror Force, you know, you flip Mirror Force up, bang, uh, just wipes the whole field. Next, we got Debrison, one for one removal, great card, uh, uh, eliminates terraces, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so Debrison, Debrison, Mirror Force, great card uh, if you guys want to sign against them or, or not, people main Debrison and Mirror Force. Next we got one deck devastate. Uh, sorry, I keep saying one for some reason. Next we got deck devastation virus. This card is amazing. It eliminates the whole deck because the highest beater is one up shark, which is fifteen hundred less. And so if you tribute uh, a dark monster, uh, two thousand more attack dark monster. You can check. I'll check all monsters in your opponent's hand. All monsters they control and all cards they draw until the the end of their third turn after this card activation and destroy all those monsters with t with with fifteen hundred or less attack. Sorry for speaking too fast, guys. Um, so yeah, this card is amazing. It's great against windups. Um, the wrecks them. One uh, so deck devastation virus is amazing. If you're playing dark worlds, um, dark worlds or injectors, you guys can, might want to play deck devastation virus against windups. Next we got one chain destruction. I explained about this card uh, in my how to beat episode one down rabbits. This card is same same thing goes for this deck. This deck, as I said before, all their monsters is two thousand or less attack. Um, and when it's summoned, target one of them, destroy all cards with this, with with that name and it's in, in its controller's hand and deck. So if you summon Shark, bang, Chain Destruction, all their Sharks go to Grave, and which now they can't do Magician Shark plays. So yeah guys, so I hope this video was helpful. So I'm going to just round up, uh, round up for you guys which card is really important against the side them. For Maxi for sure, Thunder King, Macro, uh, not Macro. Rowdy Warlords goes in match. These are the main. So one, two, so four, four cards. That if you guys don't like any of these sides, these are the four main. Goes in match. Rowdy Warlords, Thunder King, and Maxi. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any suggestions on episode three of how to beat, put it down in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, guys, Team Sam and Sam signing out. Peace, and don't forget to subscribe.